Hi everybody! <laughs> I never know how to start my videos. Consider this a PSA to keep track of all your work. This story begins on a hot summer day. <laughs> if you saw my Instagram, then you may have seen my post where I lost this mermaid painting. I had it listed and assumed, like any other rational hoarder, that it was in the archives. By that I mean I have a series of portfolio books and storage boxes where my work piles up. Side note, I would love to be able to buy one of those flat file cabinets. They are so beautiful. Now I painted this original mermaid years ago already, but of course someone decides to buy it years later which is not uncommon for me. But then I go into archaeology mode and start sifting through piles and books to find the work. I can't find it. I looked everywhere. I looked inside books. I looked my portfolio books. I looked inside my sketchbooks. I looked inside boxes. I looked inside cabinets. I mean, I have artwork everywhere. But I couldn't find this piece. I call my friends to come help me and we sort through again. Tearing up my tiny studio. Artwork strewn everywhere. And still not found. Luckily for me, the patron who bought the piece is a friend of mine and didn't mind receiving a replica of the original. So that's what we have here. I'm repainting this painting. So just a word of advice, if you need to tidy up your studios, lads, please do so. Organization is hard, but it helps in the long run. With that said, Please take a moment to like this video if you like seeing me paint and share with the Afro-loving mermaids of your world. I've been thinking a lot about my painting contact and experimenting with the idea of randomly talking or telling stories, but I'm just not sure I have that many stories to tell. <laughs> On the flip side, it's hard for me to sit through painting videos with just music. I know people like it, but I don't know. It's too relaxing to me and makes me sleepy regardless of how amazing the painting is i just can't be that excited about seeing it it's mostly one of those watching the beginning and skip to the end to see the result type thing unless there's talking in which case you know you kind of want to see what's being said it's very much a double-edged sword here so all i can think of to do is mix it up on my channel one YouTube artist I watched said she rarely watches art videos herself anymore and I found that to be true for me because of the way they are often made. Guys, how do you make these videos more interesting? Or can you? You're either into the artwork enough or the story. Or maybe not either and there's not much else that can be done. Listen. I don't know many artists who are particularly social creatures, so being extroverted, extroverted or entertaining as any other popular YouTuber who vlogs or has a crazy life is not very common among artists. But I will be doing my best to make the content that is as entertaining for me to make as it is for you to watch. That might mean a few challenge videos. I actually don't think I've done a real YouTube challenge. 30 Days of Art and Inktober were like the closest and my art haul videos are usually the most popular but there's only so many of those i can do before i'm bankrupt <laughs> however i do have one or two more hauls to show which will lead to a few more review videos that you can look forward to i was honestly against making art challenge videos for so long because i just saw it as a fun uh, or I just saw it as fun and i wanted to be more i don't know respected i guess and put some respect on my chick <laughs> nowadays i see that youtube is a fun place to watch and escape and i'm too goofy to be all that serious all the time but enough with my ranting leave me a comment and tell me what have been your favorite kind of videos to watch for artists and also feel free to share with me a, a time or story that you've messed up or if you just want to hear me talk more about mine <laughs> I'm going to get back to editing, so enjoy the rest of the video.
Yeah. Mm -hmm.